they came from all over the state of Minnesota, all shapes and sizes dressed in a kaleidoscope of colors. 32 marching bands gathered for two reasons, one to open the Minneapolis Business Salute to the Arts Week, and two to get themselves into the Guinness Book of World Records. Bands 1 through 16, ready. But these aspiring musicians were soon playing to the direction of another conductor, Meredith Wilson, the music man himself, the composer of the hit show and the now classic 76 trombones. At nearly 80, Meredith Wilson was happy to play one chorus of his hit song, but the band played on. Rehearsal over, the nearly 3,000 players, baton and flag twirlers and pom-pom girls formed up in downtown Minneapolis for the record-breaking march. And that's how, on October 12, 1981, 3,000 Minnesotan youngsters assured themselves of at least one record. Jason Davis for ABC News in Minneapolis.